And not only beat Ben now, but beat uh, Trelleborg as well. So you've got to be ready to adapt. That's what the best teams in the FSL do is adapt well. But, we are uh, underway yeah. of the FSL we are. Season 3 Championship group stages here today as uh, we're having a look at the first battle for all the equipment coming out of the gate as we see JK from the Team Trelleborg grabbing the Kuhn Baylor. And uh, both teams have a decent harvester, I think. I, I didn't see, actually, when they were picking uh, whether either team grabbed a harvester. It doesn't look like they did. Yeah, both teams in an ideal, though, so I think uh, uh, yeah, someone, so, yeah, someone, someone reserved one at least. Someone, yeah. Hello to Alexander over on YouTube. We are live today on YouTube, Twitch, and on <laughs> Facebook. So hello to all of our audiences across all of those platforms. And uh, Facebook, you'll be happy to know that we're aware that we're live this time going in. So we will be paying attention to your comments today, too. I will say, uh, looking at, at the Facebook stream, we've got one of those comments that always, uh, shout out to you, Strapped Up. You have found one of the most awesomest things that you will ever find on the internet. This. <laughs> is the fsl and every time i see a comment like that every time i see what is this that i've stumbled across three hours later i can almost guarantee that person is still in the chat still going oh my god i'm so pleased i found this <laughs> <laughs> i love those moments and uh we also have a question in twitch chat i assume trelleborg are favorites listening to and reading comments yeah, I mean, they're the number one seeds coming in. They've earned the right to be the favorites by being the strongest team consistently throughout the whole of season three. They won more tournaments than anyone else. They had more circuit points than anyone else and really have... Uh, I There rarely has been a final go by where they're not at least in it and finishing runners up. It was very rare to not see them in that final matchup throughout the season. But it's, it's an interesting thing where we've seen the latter half of the season, we have seen them stumble ever so slightly. And I think Voltra are, are massively strong and we're going to see them in action later today. Um, and of course, they, they lost to, to Bednar in that final match last tournament. So um, I don't think they're unbeatable. They are very, very strong. But uh, there's there's definitely space for uh, somebody to somebody else to take the trophy today, right. as much as Trelleborg are favourites. There was some rotation in that final match uh, where Wooler had to leave, True. and Wooler is you know one of the strongest stackers, if not the best in all of the FSL. So they kind of uh, changed their strategy up a little bit, and I think maybe saw that as an opportunity to see. You know what they could do differently they didn't come out on top it didn't work out but uh, you know Charleborg, they didn't need to win last month's tournament as much as bednar did and uh, credit to bednar they had a fantastic right tournament on. where's our first drops we've got bail we... multiplier and silo close probably won't see either team pick these I... up yeah i don't i don't think either team is going to be going out of their way to get those two they're not uh, they're not massive game changers at the moment um, the silo closed, if you were doing an early drop, would make a difference. Ooh, Woola dropping Ooh. some grain <laughs> on the ground there. Yeah, tiny little bit. Plenty in that ideal to go around, for sure. They'll have more than oh, enough yeah, between that and that case. It could make that difference between the... Uh, you know, getting a 1.9 and a, and a 2.0 in evening things up. So, even even little drops of grain can be a problem. And looks like Trevor were were hedging their bets a bit, I think. What is going on here? What are Diakaflare doing? I would guess they might be dumping on the ground so <laughs> yeah. if, if you know I, 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 if my time doing the scrimmage streams tells me anything uh yeah. diacrafleur have become really close with our uh, really the team in north america that's at the forefront on these friday night scrimmages of trying to grow fsl interest in north america sga 
they are always practicing together, even away from these scrimmage streams. We're seeing nice. comments in chat where SGA members are in here. They're cheering on Diaka for yeah. the underdogs. Right. They want to see an upset. But yeah, they've, they've gotten to know each other well, and Bauer Matza especially has really uh, helped SGA members you know, learn how to play the Farming Simulator League client. So uh, I love seeing that camaraderie within the FSL community. It's, uh, you know, my favorite thing about the Farm Sim community at large, but the F it carries over into FSL too. Yeah, it's a competitive mode, but at the end of the day, uh, everyone wants to have a good time. It's a game and you should be having fun and, you know, making those uh, relationships and having a good time. JK going back for his tractor here. Oops. This would be, if they are doing the grain dumping tactic, it's a tactic that is only going to work once against, uh, once against Trelleborg and they, they kind of, yeah, they, they, they kind of need to, to dump some grain because if, uh, into the silo, because if they don't, Trelleborg are absolutely going to be onto them. Yeah. Uh, the problem with if, if that is what they're doing i can't really tell like i saw one of their combines up on the hill there just parked so i'm not sure we've not really seen a shot of the uh red team diacrifler side to see if that's what they're doing and it is no, that, yeah that's right exactly what they're doing <laughs> so here's the thing though like you know it it's a risk because you're betting on the it combo is. points but at the same time the Aquaflow have been practicing this a lot. I can tell you that. Ever since Lender unveiled this strategy a few months ago, there's been a lot of practice of it between SGA and the Aquaflow within the scrimmages and their own practices. Um, and I think that DAF here will shoot for 50 bales total and see if they can get the right amount of combo yeah. points. But they're, they're going to have to catch Trelleborg off guard in order to uh, to pull it off. Yep, because I mean, if Trelleborg are sitting there waiting for them, Trelleborg's points can go through the roof. Yeah, I mean, we saw it in that tournament when Lindner unlo uh, unveiled this Lindner... Uh, uh, what, yeah, it was Lindner, right? A Lindner load-up strategy, uh, yeah, I, think I think is what Lindner. we called it. Yeah. And uh, Trelleborg had the most amount of time between matches, and they were sitting there watching Lindner pull this new strategy out. And they found within an hour the counter, the right counter to it, and still came out victorious. That just shows you how good Trelleborg are at adapting. So, yeah, the problem is, yeah. and actually Trelleborg, it's come from, I think it was, I think it was JK himself said that he's not a fan of the Lindner load up type strategy because it does really uh, gamble on timing those combo points perfectly if you miss out on one or two and they get countered it all of a sudden changes but here we see a bail <laughs> press it though right on cue D A D A F are doing this really well so they're not going for that massive massive number of bales right at the at the start what they do uh, at the end what they're doing is they are just going to keep dumping bales into the bottom and uh, and if and if Trelleborg aren't sitting there ready to co beat the combo every time, DAF are just going to score a ridiculous number of points. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, and they're uh, I mean, so the combo's been reset here, um, but that was a good first little move. We got six minutes Dude. to go, and they're going to have to do that it, again. It means, though, it means without Trelleborg being have to be. It means Trelleborg have to be there all the time, ready to uh, to stop that combo happening. Because uh, they are going to get a combo like that. They're going to get over 400 points every single time they deliver a trailer worth. Yep. And, and Trelleborg do not have the ability to counter that every single time unless they have someone sitting there. Hello, Tony. Hello, everyone else on uh, Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Joining us today, We are. this is the first match, so if you're just tuning in, don't worry. You've only missed about 10 minutes, and you got a lot more to go today from Groups A and B. This is our first matchup of the day. Number one seed, Trello Borg at the blue team against the number 16 seed, Die Ackerfleur, the red team. <laughs>
And uh, welcome, Incredible Mouse, as well. All kinds of awesome people. I saw someone uh, as well make yeah. a comment. Why are the red team dumping their grain on the ground? And Felden answered it well in chat. But I'll address it again. It was It's a strategy we've seen this season where instead of delivering grain to increase your multiplier for bales you get into the top of the barn, teams instead don't waste time taking the grain. They dump it on the ground so they can just keep uh, harvesting and creating straw down on the ground to be pressed into bales. And then you count on getting combo points to increase your score as Wooler is actually having one drop okay. off the belt here. But Wooler, pretty consistent stacker in the FSL. And he's just going to methodically now, now the rest of this round for the next four minutes be loading these on. Yeah. It's, it's now a lot harder for DAF to get those combo points because... They've got to get it in. They've got to get all of these bales in the middle of uh, bales being dropped. And it's, yeah, it's just not happening for them. It's this is where this strategy falls down. It works once. Right. And Lord Baylor is our super drop. So that would score two bales, but I'm not sure it's worth the time of going that far away for this one. As uh, Diakrafleur just have a slight lead, right. but. It, any moment now, I have a feeling that uh, Trelleborg have some on the belt already ready to go. They've got 10 more bales outstanding compared to DAF at the moment. So this is going to be close, but I think over <laughs> these final three minutes, Trelleborg has the potential to pull away. And, and Trelleborg are putting in 30 points for every single bale. For every bale that Trelleborg deliver, <laughs> DAF have to deliver three. It's... <sighs> It's not a strategy. There is a strategy here, but this is not it. This is this is going to just end up now in Trelleborg pulling away, and um, and ending up just scoring more and more points all the time. Willa coming into the bottom, trying to... Ooh, a little bit shaky well, I'm there. I'm not sure what he's, he's trying now. to do, actually. I thought he was going to put some in the bottom, maybe thinking yeah. that uh, they could just go ahead and get those combo points, but then his teammate dropped the bales off, and now he's stuck, so now he's going to go in reverse. He has some uncharacteristic mistakes by Trelleborg so far, but it doesn't look like at this point it... it's going to cost them. I was going to say, if it was a different game, I would... Uh... I would be going, oh, why are Trelleborg making so many mistakes? But look There's at the that. There's the Bailtastic now, so that's just about going to do it. Both teams have the same amount of bales, yeah. but the issue, again, is you're, if you're Diocra Flair, you're D betting on the combo points, and they're going to bring in another full trailer, but it's probably going to be I'm, easily countered again. I am not sure why DAF has switched to a stacker now. They've, they've got only a one times multiplier. They're not got any grain they can put in. Bringing a stacker tractor in is not really going to help them. Yeah. They're, they're, they're in a position where, to be, to be perfectly honest, from, from where I stand, there's nothing they can do about this. This is just Trelleborg pulling away more and more now. There's a hundred, they only have 140 points on that trailer. And there's a bail pressive for Trelleborg. This is this is gonna be Oh, this is gonna be nasty. That's over oh, a thousand points. Oh, it's now a thousand points to five seventy seven. Yeah. Oh that is tough. That that just hurts. That's is that a twelve that's a twelve hundred point game with forty seconds to go. And they've countered the bail combo there by DAF, so uh oh. yeah, it's nearly five hundred points in it here with thirty seconds to go. I, I I love the idea of the first trailer coming in and dumping it in before the other team can go and score a load of points and just getting yourself a massive number. But you can't do that for the whole game. Yeah. You know, Definitely. that's a, that's an early thing. And then you've 
once they start putting bales in on a regular, you can't do it. And there we go. Twelve and a half thousand points for Trelleborg there. <laughs> oh, Crazy. Man. Well done uh, to Trelleborg. Congrats. I mean, look at that. They did 50 bales. They got 51. Yeah. They had nine more bales than Trelleborg. The problem is Trelleborg oh. was scoring three times the amount of points per bale, and yeah. Diacrafleur did not get enough combo points to counteract it. In an ideal world, we would be in person at events with the giant software audio team, you know, helping us out. Um, but they can only do so much on their end because we're at a distance in two separate countries across this vast planet that we all live on. It's uh, it's peaking. I need to I need to put a um, uh, I need I need to put a filter on it. I think. There you go. I, I have okay. So I have. A, uh, a yeti blue microphone so i'm it's it's not like i'm using a headset mic here it's it's a proper a be it inexpensive um condenser microphone. i was just worried i was like am i fidgety over here and not realizing it trying to stay awake in the early hours <laughs> it's oh, gonna right, be really, it, i'll here. tell you what it's gonna get really bad if i uh if we have a a, a game that goes down to like um you know, two points in the last seven seconds because I'm going to be screaming at this thing and it's just going to be <laughs> peeking out the whole time. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll look into it. At, we'll have a break after uh, this first matchup, whether it's yeah. after this round or not, and uh, we'll see what we can do. We appreciate everyone's feedback and chat, and uh, we also appreciate you I'll, I'll guys letting us just have some lighthearted fun can, uh... when it comes to it. Too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we we love doing these because of the chat interaction. It, you know, the the tournament yeah. itself is entertaining. Uh, the gameplay is great. We always have really good matchups when we get, uh, especially down to like the uh, quarterfinal stages when you have the top teams going against each other. It's always a good time in the FSL. But without the chat interaction, it just wouldn't be as entertaining for uh, us as casters, and the broadcast right. just wouldn't be the same. Right, how we got DAF uh, this time are not dumping any of uh, at least not yet. Uh, They're not dumping grain. No. Um, JK bailing away. One twelve to one oh nine. A lot less points um, this time around on the first bail points. I think it was one twenty nine to one twenty seven. What's up, Obi? Good morning, DJ Merlin, and everyone else joining us. Thank you all so much. There is a giveaway going on. Oh, I tried to put the command into chat on Twitch a bit ago, but it didn't seem to come Let's through. Try but yeah, there's a giveaway for for a game called Farm Sim 22. Maybe you've heard of it. Uh, maybe you heard that I, it comes I, out I, November 22nd. I'm um, I, I'm not sure I have. <laughs> I, I may not be getting insanely excited about next Friday. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you're one of our partners and ambassadors who I have am. been blessed with early oh, access to Farm Sim 22. I have, and I am. Oh, man, I am so giddy about next Friday. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, so we've got Speed Up and Bridges Lowered this time. Neither of those, I think, are something that either team um, well, is going to go out of their way for. And Listen to the lovely babbling yet. brook right there <laughs> on that shot. Oh. Yeah, um, I love the in chat. Stodgy Mouse says, it's really not that bad, VF. Don't sweat it. I think it's more banter than irritation. <laughs> That's why we I love you guys. My, my thing is, my thing is that I've had so much troubles with... Because um, uh, what I did was I got a... Rather, I took my laptop out of my whole streaming setup, and I got an old PC. I managed to get hold of a 1650 uh, GTX for a uh, an inexpensive price. Oh, Beatmaster's gone for Ooh, it. Oh, almost um, into the and drink so, there. And so I have a new streaming setup. Unfortunately, it's it, it threw everything into chaos, and it being Technology. an old machine, it had a corrupting hard drive, and my mic setup was all over the place, and yeah. So um, I feel you, man. It's, 
<laughs> and then a Windows update can come along and just completely <laughs> ruin everything too. I've been there. Well, before. I got the um, I got the noise gate wrong on my recording setup, and so I had an entire video this week that was basically like that. <laughs> um, with with people going into the comments, I love your videos, but I dislike this because of the audio, and I'm going, oh god. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, that's, well, that's been my. I'm week. glad you're excited about next Friday. We're looking forward to seeing yes. our uh, fans get their hands on Farming Simulator 22 for the first time, oh. and I can tell you guys uh, from my experience. And feel free to call me biased if you want, <laughs> but. Remember, I was a fan of the game first before Giants hired me full time as community coordinator. I think you all are going to be pleasantly surprised. And I mean, maybe you already know what you're getting into with all the announcements we've made, but until you get it in front of you, you just won't know how you're going to truly feel about it. But I'm loving this this version of the game. I think that the team has done an amazing job and we've made some great leaps forward. And I think, you know, more i've been saying like it's a big leap forward but it's not just that this is the first game that giant software is self-publishing and it's a really like a, it's kind of a stepping stone for us as a company um fs22 is just going to be the start of even greater things going forward into the future so everyone if you're a fan what, of our games the, you should be excited one one of the things i i actually love about the the fs uh, community and yeah, the FS creator community is that um, you know we, you guys send us copies of the game and and thank you so much for that that is awesome. However, I have bought more copies of Farming Simulator 22 than I think any other game I've ever had, <laughs> and 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 we have been we have been giving away copies left, right, and center. So. Pretty much any creator you can go into at the moment, and and we're giving copies because we love it. You know, we we think we think it's going to be absolutely awesome, and we are just trying to get as many copies out there to as many people as we can, um, because we have you know this faith that it's going to be good. I so, love to um, hear that. Yeah, you're not. I know you're not the only one. People have been buying up multiple copies and uh, well, I think trying I'm up to, to get all the pre-order bonuses and all of that sort of thing I, too. I, I think I'm up to eight or nine copies at this point. I was wondering what Diaga Flair <laughs> were doing here because I knew they were they were not dumping grain this time, but they had not put any grain into the silo as of yet, but now no. they're doing so as we see herbicide and bridges raised. So they have two full combines and a full grain cart here. As you see Elite Kafi going back and forth between all of them, he has the Archimedes perk, so he'll be able to nice. unload all of this 50% faster. And, and yeah, they're doing, they're doing the a tried and true. Oh, oh, look at that! And now Trelleborg are delivering great, and they've bought it back. Oh, they've sent them. It's gone the other way. Here, I thought maybe Trelleborg were going to be caught off guard this race. time around, but they were not. Wow! Ah, right, here we go. Yes, because there was more in there. There's this. Uh, is it going to be cross platform so PC and Xbox can play together? Yes, FS22 is cross platform, and it's one of the things I'm really looking forward yeah, to. Yeah, cross platform across all of the platforms it's releasing on, including Stadia. But keep in mind that Stadia right. at this time doesn't support mods. So if you are on that platform, no, you're gonna and you want to play with your friends, you're gonna have to make sure they're okay with playing with no mods, no DLC. Mods. <sighs> But uh, I, I will say, I will say, FS22 is the first version of Farm Sim where I'm not dreading playing without mods to start with. Yeah, um, I've heard that a lot. And, you know, there's a lot of by that, stuff I mean, coming to base game, which um, is nice. Yeah, and uh, and that, that was the thing with FS uh, with FS19. It, I was excited and it was awesome. And at this point, last time I was flying out to Germany, um, <laughs> but uh, it was. Um, you know, I, I was coming into it and going, okay, I've not got seasons. I'm going to have to work around that. Um, uh, so we are uh, under six minutes to go. 173 to 112. Yes. Trelleborg in the lead. 
the Aquafleur need to win this second of the best of three, or they are going into the loser's bracket here, and Charlotte Borg will advance in the winner's bracket. A little bit easier of a route. You won't have to play as many games if you stay in the winner's bracket. We'll have John Deere against Bednar, the other teams in Group A coming up after this one is concluded. And uh, Trelleborg picked up Bridges' raise there. So the Bridges are all raised at the moment for the red team, Diacre Fleur. 233 to 112, five minutes, 10 seconds to go. <laughs> You, you troubleshooting over there, Alex? I, uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry. I've, I've gone quiet because um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reduce my uh, my mic volume a little bit and see if that helps things. Uh... <laughs> can you can hear me breathing? Oh, God. Right. Uh, let's, uh... 233 to 122. Four and a half to go. Do what you got to do, Alex. I'll take the uh, reins yeah. from here. Um, and we'll see if you can... Get that sorted. We appreciate okay. everyone's feedback. We're 20 seconds away from the super drop. Trelleborg in the lead. Is and... that okay? Uh, that sounds a little bit better. It's hard to tell. I've, I've dropped the volume to uh, to 80% the microphone, so hopefully that hasn't made me that too sounds quiet. better to me. But at the same time, um, that might take out some of the top. Right. Yeah, it sounds fine to me, but again, I, I'm not listening to the broadcast, so hopefully we'll get some more feedback from the awesome people in chat. It's Lord Baylor again for two bales. So, I mean, if you're Diacre Fleur and, it, and it's close, you might go for this, but I don't know if it's worth going for or not, to be honest. It looks like actually someone is going mm. for it for Diacre Fleur, though. Uh, looking at the mini-map, someone is almost to it now. They... And there it is. Roadrunner is going for it. So they let's could do with... close the gap a bit. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Sounds like Darth Vader is in the room. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to mute myself on the stream for a minute so I can run the couple of tests. <laughs> I will be right back. Fair I enough. will leave do you in you Kermit's do. capable hand. <laughs> oh, I do love that, uh, you know, it's you guys are handling it in a very good way in chat, too. We guys appreciate you. Because uh, it's... Like I said, we're doing this from a distance. It's not an ideal situation with COVID. Normally, Alex and I would be there in person in Germany as well at the studio, and you would get to see the German casters on stage and the English casters. Um, but I've yet to experience that because I've gotten involved with the FSL earlier this year. So, you know, we're having to deal with COVID, and COVID if affected the world championships even uh, still going on into November now. We were supposed to have a three-day event with the finals culminating tomorrow, but the finals will now take place next month due to just the craziness. All right. 553 to 482. Two minutes and 10 seconds to go here. Trelleborg in the lead. This is a lot closer than it was at this point of the match last time around. And now Matza is bringing another load of bales in on the Anderson loader. The problem here is that the multiplier is even and they and Diacrefleur are trailing by 51 points and they only had like an extra bale at that point. So now it's 613 to 522. And I don't think Diacrefleur have enough bales especially as Kafi has the belt catch those. So that's a mistake you don't want to make. These all need to go in via the top of the barn if they're going to have a chance. But even then, I don't know if it's going to be enough. I'm going to look into why the... Thank you, uh, Tom, over on Facebook for the feedback as well on the audio stuff. Uh, I'm going to look into why the giveaway links don't seem to be auto-populating. On all of our platforms, I know you guys would love to enter that giveaway for FS22. Yeah, you know what, though, Stodgy? Okay. That very I've... rarely happens. Welcome back, Alex. That very rarely happens, I'm, I'm Stodgy. Hoping... 
in the farm sim community. <laughs> Everyone is usually pretty nice, even when things are maybe not going the best. It's uh, always in a respectful manner. So we appreciate our community for being like that. You guys are awesome. We do, and I and I I know from personal experience that it's only a very small minority of the community. In in general, the farm sim community is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, and, in, and, in in and live streaming, team. you're always going to have the haters here and there, but you know, the thing about oh, that yeah. is, is the majority of the people in chat are always uh, very civil, and they have our backs and are willing to shoo those kind of people away. Um, and so it's going to be Trelleborg that are going to take this a lot closer in the scoreline this time. But for Diakrifler, just coming up short, 843 <coughs> to 792, I believe, is the final score. So Diakrifler into the loser's bracket. They'll play later on. They're not out completely yet. But uh, Trelleborg, I mean, seemed pretty comfortable through those two matches, Alex.